All right now we will move on to uh, item C. We're going to be presenting a, oh, we'll call it a acknowledgement and appreciation, a proclamation, a uh, recognition to a retiring battalion chief, Mike Kennedy. Uh, Mike Kennedy, who is here, um, when I say here, he's not here physically, he's in the EOC. Can we bring that screen up, please? <laughs> there he is. And abiding by all rules, as you can see, right? So um, what I wanted to uh, say to our battalion chief, he looks a little more relaxed because he is. He is retired at this point. Um, Mr. Kennedy is going to be departing the great state of California for uh, another venture in life, another chapter. And so uh, he leaves very shortly. So this was an opportunity with COVID when he uh, had his retirement and did that. Obviously, there was not an opportunity to acknowledge or say thank you in any capacity. Uh, and this is it, because in a couple of weeks, uh, he, he's, he's gone, shall we say. With, with Battalion Chief Kennedy, I've known for some years, and he's been with our department and working for the residents of San Bruno for 26 years. He's been a firefighter, a mechanic, a captain, a battalion chief. He also uh, was asked in a transition between uh, the retiring chief Presta and the bringing on of chief DeLay to step in and be the interim fire chief, as well as to help Ari get up to speed and find out where he could find everything and, and come over to City Hall. Um, you know, there's uh, a side of uh, Mike, now that you're not a battalion chief, I can say first names, Mike, that um, to know him is quite a bit. And, and he has a mask on today, but he is not a shy man. He is not a quiet man, uh, but he does like to have fun. He likes to dish it out and have fun, but also a character trait of his is he's able to kind of take the fun when it comes back to him. And not everybody can do it both ways, but he has that knack. I think based on his large family, uh, he's tried to bring family element, laughter, uh, and tried to make it a little more uh, enjoyable. But he also has done a lot of serious stuff. The two apparatus over at 51, the truck and the engine, are through him uh, facilitating that. And that was, and I remember he's very proud, of the $80,000 it saved to purchase those two apparatuses at the same time. And uh, to know that he uh, knows when to do stuff, he had former mayor Jim Ruane sign the final PO uh, as the mayor had uh, initiated the uh, acceptance of these two, which I thought was just timing of Mike to make sure that uh, he had everything taken care of and had the mayor sign it so there should be no questions. It also was tradition unbeknownst to me that truck was actually pushed in to the station. And that is a tradition that goes back to when it's horse and carriage. Well, it's been a long time since there. And so to keep the tradition, they did push that apparatus into the bay uh, to welcome it to Station 51 and into San Bruno. And, and another, you know, Mike has been here through a lot of situations that we've had in the city. Uh, to 2010, the explosion, of course, you were here. I remember, because it's a very sobering moment when you and I, uh, former Mayor Ruane, and a couple of firefighters attended the first uh, funeral service for two of the victims that were killed. Um, and that is a sobering thing when you have to stand in front of a church and uh, as asked and greet uh, the deceased, the caskets and the family. And I truly know from being with you in many occasions that you have a deep devotion and a deep dedication to this city and to this department and to its community. I also know there's a side of you that for those that may not know, um, since Mike's been retired, he's come back to help the city in interviews twice, which is very noble and we appreciate that. One in a Sears sucker suit with a bow tie, I guess getting ready for his new adventure. And also the best one was the kilt that he wore uh, to interviews for uh, potential promotional uh, folks here in our department. So, um, Mr. Kennedy, may I say, on behalf of uh, the council, on behalf of myself, on behalf of a truly appreciative community and its residents, you have never in my mind, in the years that you've been here that I've known you, never once have I ever questioned or doubt your character, your frankness, and your passion for anything more than what it is, a true deep commitment to the fire department, to this community, 
and its residents. So I personally wish you all the best and safe travels to your new home and the next chapter in your life. Mr. Kennedy, would you like to say anything? Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, Council, and uh, 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 City Manager uh, Rogan. I appreciate this uh, greatly. Uh, I've always known what an honor and a privilege it has been to work for the city of San Bruno. It's been the greatest job uh, that I've ever had. I was able to do it for 26 years and uh, I loved almost every minute of it. <laughs> there was some times, but uh, it's been a great job. I've had the pleasure of working with uh, the best firefighters uh, in the county. Uh, I'm leaving at such a difficult time in the city's history and uh, it gives me uh, some solace that uh, the chief delay is here. He's done such a fantastic job in a way it's been humbling to watch uh, the job that he does. Uh, I've never seen the fire department in a better position and better shape with uh, uh, the best trained people and the best uh, 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 demeanor and desire to, to work for this city and do the best job that they can. Uh, it's just a great, great group of people. You're very lucky to have them. Uh, I'm going to miss all of them. Uh, I won't miss waking up in the middle of the night uh, thinking about the next call that comes in. Uh, I've already slept better. I have not shaved since I uh, retired. I've never been able to have a beard uh, for the last 26 years, so that's interesting. Uh, but I wish everyone the best of luck. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure, uh, and I guess that's it. Thank you. Thank you again, Battalion Chief. And Mike, best wishes, and I know you'll enjoy it. And, and maybe you'll send an invitation to us in, if we're out that way. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, Mike, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to your family, too, because as, as we know, your dedication, um, it takes a lot, and it's, it's not just it's you, and you affect everybody else. So thank you to everybody, and thank you for your dedication. Thank you. All right, and thank you again, Mike. Okay.